This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Susan Faulkner, Evans and Bow. We're working on the ladder work. He's lost his activity. So he's got to keep active in that lateral work. So keep him at a seven, bring his shoulder over, supple him. More activity, good girl, more activity. He should have a mini stretch happening. Yep. Good, praise him, more activity. Good, and this is new for him. Good, good. Yep, point his outside ear in the direction you want to go. You should be able to look right down his ears for this movement, right between, more activity. Good. More activity. Praise him. Supple, supple, supple. More activity. That's it. This is a traverse. Good. Keep the activity. Nice. He's got some suspension happening now. Do you feel it? Yeah. That's where you have to supple him twice as much. Think of a stretchy on the inside rein. That's right. So in the shoulder end, you want to think he stretches on your inside rein and leg. And that's where you play with Supple, 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 stretch on the outside rein. That's right, supple, 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 keep the activity. Good, keep him in the base of his neck. There he goes, good, Susan. Good, keep the activity, he's gonna lose it coming out. Into shoulder in, keeping the activity. You're gonna really stretch him on the shoulder in. Yes, do you feel how that changes your shoulder in? Stretch him down and in a little bit more on the left rein. Good, good, praise him. Keep the activity. That's good, Susan. All right, so now you're going to do something lateral. Come out of it with a medium gait. When you come to the line, so you're just going to you do something lateral. Come across the short diagonal with your medium. When you get to the diagonal, you can just uh, go into your lengthening. Actually, there's a cool exercise I saw Charlotte doing. Every time they come, because the horse is, because he's starting to figure out he goes across the diagonal and he has to do something, right? Yeah. Okay, so watch this one. Go across the diagonal when you get to the other side. Yeah. You're going to turn the opposite way that you come across the diagonal. So it can be a walk, a turn on the haunches, whatever. So you're going to come across a short diagonal. This is how you're going to start doing all your diagonals so he doesn't learn that he can, he's in charge of the diagonals. Come across your short diagonal. He's going to expect to go that way, right? Yeah. Okay, change your gait. You're going to turn him to the right. To the right. Oh, like that? Like walk? Like walk? Yep, and then you turn him the total opposite way. And you can go across the diagonal again. But now what we're doing is every time he goes across the diagonal, he has to think about it. Because he's expecting to just fly around at whatever, right? So now you're going to think. You can go down that diagonal and a half pet shoulder in or whatever you want, right? So do, a sh do your cross the short diagonal out of your uh, shoulder in. Good, good. Cross the short diagonal. Remember when you get to the diagonal, you're gonna turn to the right. Good, get ready to turn to the right. That's good, that's good. He didn't expect it, did he? Yeah, he didn't. <laughs> good. So you can do that with all of your gates now, yep. Whether it's a ronverse or shoulder in, you're just gonna think every time you come across that short diagonal, you're gonna do what he doesn't expect so he doesn't tune you out. Good, good, yep, keep the activity. He needs to stretch on the right rein. So supple his jaw on the outsides. There, 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 there. Keep him more active. Good, go across a short diagonal, even if it's just halfway across the ring. Good. Do what he doesn't expect. Turn into the rail. Into the rail. That's right. And it can be a turn around the haunches, whatever you want. Keep the activity. Good. <laughs> Bo's thrilled with this. Supple him more. See, it's the same thing you're doing, except at a different level, isn't it? Good. Get more of a leap. So half halt. Half halt. Half halt. Half halt, good, half halt, half halt, big shoulder in, half halt, half halt, needs more activity, half halt, go across your short diagonal, that's right, and remember you're going to turn the opposite way, very good, keep him under you, keep him under you, good, good, did you feel how you kept him more connected, and he's a little bit surprised with it at first. So if this is good enough for Charlotte Dujon to do, I we could probably do it, right? 
So this is an exercise, you know, every time we go across, because we haven't done this with you yet, Trudy. Every time you go across the diagonal, you stop, you at the other end, you turn the opposite way. Good. Is that enough for him? That was good. That was good. What did you feel today? Well, I could feel more getting him set back more. And um, I felt he was, you know, holding himself better at the canter. Yeah. He's doing good at the trot. I thought yes. he was doing very, fairly well at the trot. Yes. The canter, he was holding himself up more. Good work, Susan. Laying down, 